Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. And yes, I have the authority under the law, even Ohio law, to call myself doctor. Just because the Universal Life Church is way out in California in another state does not mean that when they issue a doctorate degree that is not legal in standing in any other state. It is legal. Why, why, why would the U.S., United States District Court, say so if it isn't true? United States, United, all 50 states, people, especially Neil Holbolt and John Henry Andrews, or I should I say uh, Dr. John E. Bob, holding yourself out to be a doctor when you're not a doctor. And, uh, oh boy, it's just so, you know, so crazy how you people think. When you're really not even thinking, that's the problem. You're not thinking. You're running your fingers on the keyboard, and you're typing with what you think in your own intellect, in your own mindsets, what is real and what is not real. You don't want to think the Universal Life Church is real. That's a real, actual place. A real, actual church that has members that goes there. You want to think it's just an online, internet church only. Hmm. And then, see, here's a comment that uh, Neil Hobolt had made on my... YouTube tell me well for one thing I should calm down but then he goes on and criticizes the Universal Life Church and says that it's legality may be legal entity within the state or legality in the state what is basically with only within California is what he says basically, and that Ohio chooses not to recognize them. Oh, wait a minute. If Ohio chooses not to recognize the Universal Life Church, then why did I get this from the state of Ohio, the great state of Ohio? Huh? Licensed to solemnize marriages under the Universal Life Church's name. Hmm? The Ohio, Ohio does recognize the Universal Life Church. You're just flapping your jaws using your own stupid intellect just to constantly attack me. And you're basically attacking the Universal Life Church as well. Well, you have no legal authority to do so. Then you go on say, which is not recognized by the U.S. Department of Education, or Education Department. They're, God Almighty, you don't listen. That's your problem. You do not listen to anything that I am saying, and you're basically only taking bits and pieces of what I'm saying and putting it together to make it what you want it to say. Just like you do with God's Word. You pick and choose. You pick and choose. You pick and choose what scriptures you want to say. And then you pick what books you want to believe in. And you pick on... You pick... Uh, ba you, you basically... Hmm. Like this other preacher uh, friend of mine on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube has said and did a video on ripping pages out of the Bible. Oh, you know, I don't want to believe in that one. I don't want to believe in that one. I don't want to believe in that one. Start ripping them out and burning them up. That's what you're doing. You're, you're always saying a Christian should obey every single law. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, 
That seems kind of funny. Because, well, where is that? I didn't highlight it. But, uh, uh, Apostle Peter. Peter. Do you remember Apostle Peter? Huh? Peter? Oh, why, why you know, why should, uh, why should, uh, basically, here we go, here we go. There it is. Let me highlight that. So it'll stand out a little bit better. Apostle Peter said in Acts. Acts 5. Verse 29. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said. We ought to obey God rather than. Who? Men. Why? Because there are a lot of stupid laws. Stupid, stupid, stupid laws. That should be, shouldn't even be on the books to begin with. But because people complain, 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 then they put these stupid laws on the books. And in Second Timothy, Second Timothy, and I know there's a lot of people out there do not want to, you know, go to Timothy because, oh, you know, Timothy, you know, uh, they they just want to make up some kind of excuse. It's only the the books of Paul, what Paul had wrote, and what Paul had said is for the church. Hmm. Timothy in 2.3 said, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. But then he goes on and says, in uh, 15, Be diligent. To present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. We're rightfully dividing the word of truth. You see, we got to divide the word of truth and put things where they're supposed to be. Then he goes on and says, Nevertheless, the Solid foundation of God stands, having his seal. The Lord knows those who are his. Let everyone whose name, the names of Christ, depart from iniquity. And then down here he goes on to say in 23, But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes. Knowing that they generate strife. And you see, you guys want to keep bringing up my doctorate degrees. Constantly wanting to bring them up. Bringing 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 them up. I'm just trying to prove you to the, the truth. Point you to the truth. But you don't want to go there. You want to constantly... Bring up strife, bring up strife, bring up strife. Who's the true Christian when it comes right down to it? You tell me, uh, John, uh, uh, Dr. Johnny Bob, that I'm a lunatic. Your videos prove it. 
you're the only one that doesn't know it. Just leave us alone. <laughs> well, why don't you start first? You start first. You leave me alone. You do not say nothing on my YouTube videos ever again. And, and... You retract everything that you've said. You 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 retract all the name calling that you have called me that I have proof of. And you retract every you're you're calling yourself a doctor. But I know you you're too proud with your own intellect to do something like that. But you know what, as I had stated, you're the ones that are constantly stirring up strife. I'm not, I'm just telling people the truth. Universal Life Church is recognized by the state of Ohio. And now, let me go here real quick to this video. Try to find it here. Here we go. I think it's toward the end here somewhere. Doctor, you can call yourself doctor. And, uh, but then there's a lot of people constantly coming coming down on me uh, on my YouTube videos because I call myself doctor and they, they there's some people coming down on me and saying that you shouldn't be calling yourself doctor I keep trying to tell them this place is compliant with California law and you know I can call myself doctor and but they're still constantly coming down on me hard about uh, about this issue and they don't even really want to believe that Universal Life Church is a real church, and but so you know, it's just to me, it's more a people's own perceptions on what is real and what is not real, and <laughs> even though you know they are real, they it was established in 1959, and they you know had to fight for their existence ever since. So I'm on the I'm on their website and I'm reading um I'm in their frequently asked uh, questions yeah. section. It says ULC degrees can uh, accredited. I understand that the ULC degrees are accredited. By whom are they accredited, and what can I do with one? Does the university or the Universal Life Church issue several degrees, and all degrees are issued by the church or recorded in a permanent record? Um, the degrees convey rank, title, or status within the church. They do not convey academic standing or achievement. They are accredited by the International Accrediting Association, which is the accreditation arm of the church. This means that the course... Now I'm going to stop right there playing that. Here real quick. Well, let me freeze it. Hang on a second. Uh... As you heard that guy I was talking to said he was reading, he went to the Universal Life Church website, their own website, and looked up about their degrees. And he was reading what it says on the site that they are accredited by the International Accreditation Association. Let me see here if I can... Related to the issuance of church degrees and titles, you should contact them. Yeah, I've... Conversations with the church? What's that? Have you had uh, conversations with the church and or the California, uh, whatever the California entity is that regulates higher education? Yeah, I have, and uh, of course they, they've told me that, uh, well, the church have told me they basically really don't care what other people think, you know. <laughs> and uh, the... Uh, I, I can't really get uh, information on the accreditation association or getting any, like uh, a phone number or anything to contact them. And but I have the uh, that code that uh, 
from California, all that information. And does, does the state of California um, recognize them? Yeah. Oh. It, even the U.S. Uh, they had to go. They like I said, uh, they had to go uh, back in 19. Uh, I think it was 69. Uh, to the U.S. District Court out there in California, and uh, the U.S. District Court uh, recognized the, their right to issue degrees. Okay. Um, well, since, you know, we, they would have no regulation with us, it's really mm. hard for me to comment on them. I would defer to um, their accreditor and then the state in which they are um, operating, which would be California. So, um, you know, really, you, the answer in Ohio is that they're not authorized, but um, they they would maybe be exempt because they're just offering distance education courses, and we don't we don't authorize out of state institutions that offer just distance ed. So. Okay. Call, the only information that I would have on them, yeah. Uh Basically, the state of Ohio does not recognize any, basically how they are saying it, they don't recognize any out-of-state, out-of-state education, long-distance education. Any. Period. And it doesn't matter if it's the Universal Light Church or the other training I took from, uh... Hmm, let's see what find my degrees and diplomas here. Actually, I, if I remember right, I don't have that one. I don't know why. And i having trouble with my printer. Sometimes it'll scan. Sometimes it won't. But the um, degree, uh, not degree, but diploma that I earned through the mail from the Stratford Career Institute in Psychology and Social Work. That was an out-of-state institution. So basically... That wouldn't even be recognized under Ohio's so-called standards of higher education and what they want to recognize and what they don't recognize. In other words, if you go to another college or university outside of the state of Ohio and do uh, an online course, the state of Ohio won't recognize them either. They, they do not recognize anything outside of the boundaries of Ohio. But yet they do recognize the Universal Life Church. So he, he was just grabbing at straws. He, 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 he really did, didn't really you know do any true research on this issue. But I have done extensive research in this issue. Look it up before you start running your mouth. Problem is, you don't know how to look up things like I do and research things like I do. Instead, you just want to keep running your mouth, running your fingertips, and saying things. Go, why? <sighs> now, basically, you're saying all the other ordained ministers that's living in the borders of state of Ohio that had took uh, courses with the Universal Life Church, basically, they don't have the right to call themselves doctor either. It isn't just me. There's other people. There's other ministers. I'm not the only one. But yet you're, you're but you're attacking me. You're constantly attacking me on my YouTube and my Facebook. 
It's like you have nothing else better to do than to attack me and constantly call out call out the my degrees and my right that I earned to call myself doctor whether you like it or not and you see it isn't that the US Department of Education doesn't recognize it doesn't recognize it says right here however some religious institutions or agencies choose not they choose not to seek recognition by the U.S. Department of, of Education because they do not wish to be connected to a government agency. Right there in the yellow, I highlighted. Read it! Don't believe me? Ask them yourself. But the state of Ohio does recognize the Universal Life Church. And the state of Ohio do, does recognize my doctorate degrees, except for the fact that they just don't want to recognize higher education or any education outside of the borders of the state of Ohio. Is basically what I got from that guy. So if I took an online course with uh, any other college outside of the state of Ohio, if it was a master's, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a doctorate degree, they would not recognize it. Uh, I had to basically go to a college right here in the state of Ohio for, for the degrees to be recognized. Which I totally think that is, if you want to go with a constitutional law, it should be unconstitutional. And uh, uh, I know I have it. Before my time runs out, <clears throat> I'll show you uh, the state of Ohio's constitution. I have to go in here to my library and pull out this big humongous folder I got here hang on a minute I don't want to be that close <laughs> Right here. Hmm. Well, let's see. Right here. Uh, religious freedom. Article 18. The United States. Excuse me. The United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. The fir First Amendment. And, uh, hang on a minute. I know I have the, uh, copy of, uh, I got a lot of laws here. So you're saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. Somewhere here I had a copy. It might be in my other booklet. I have... I have a lot of... See, okay, right here is a copy I have of uh, the... Uh, yeah, I mean, that was the one where they uh, went to Cal Cal State of California. All right, here's the other one where it was... Uh, uh, 19... 74 fact that the plaintiff distributes 
ministers, credentials, and honorary of Dr. Divinity certificates is of no movement such activity may be authorized as I mean, to mass uh, conversions at a typical revival or religious crusade. Neither this court nor any branch of go this government. Oh, that means the state of Ohio has to recognize my degrees by federal law. <laughs> no branch of government is allowed to deny my the Universal Life's church right to uh, Oh, I, I thought I had the state of Ohio's uh, constitution here somewhere. I, I know I did, but uh, but uh, long story short. I just got a lot. I got a lot of documentation that I have printed off for years, 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 because people are con have been constantly saying that I do not have the right to call. Before I even started doing uh, these videos, there was people out there saying that the. Uh, You know, I shouldn't be calling myself doctor. So I, I've been doing a lot of research. A lot, a lot of research. Long story short, people. Well, I have to uh, basically find it and do another video on it but uh, when I'm a little bit more rested oh pretty girl move she likes getting right in my way in the hallway right in front of the furnace and it doesn't want to move sometimes. She's about as stubborn as some human beings are. At times. Well, anyhow. I'll show you later when I find it. The Ohio Constitution. That also recognizes religious education. So, you know, talking about law. Hmm. Right there in black and white. No government, no branch of government in the United States of America is supposed to deny their right of issuing degrees and to say that their degrees are not legal. So it means no person in the United States of America has the right to say I'm not a doctor when I am. I studied, I studied, and I studied. And I earned the degrees. The only thing that you're constantly earning, Neil Hallbalt and Dr. John E. Bob, is the stupidness that you're constantly dishing out. You're constantly calling me names. But you know what they say when somebody points a finger. 
three are pointing back. God bless you. Have a blessed day.